We're going to look at uh, identifying different parts of algebraic expressions. That way, when I say a word um, that you may not be familiar with, this will just clear it up and you'll be able to follow the conversation. Um, right here, we have um, basically an algebraic expression, uh, 2x to the third power. We know this is an exponent. We know this is a variable. But what about this 2? What do we call that? We can call that basically a coefficient. And a coefficient is nothing more than a number that's multiplying a variable. So basically that means that any time that you see a number in front of the variable without a plus or minus or division sign in between it, it's a coefficient. It's going to be multiplying the variable. Okay. So if I say coefficient over here, you would say the coefficients are 2 and 4. So these are our coefficients. Both of them are in front of a variable. Um, the 3 and 5 are not coefficients. They are exponents. And keep in mind that the exponents are actually attached to the variables in these situations. So the variables can also be considered a base because the base is attached to the exponent. That means that, uh, well, we'll get to that on the next screen. So right here, we're going to simplify this algebraic expression. In this case, it's an exponential expression because they've got exponents in them. And it's pretty simple. Um, step one tells us that we need to multiply our coefficients. And we know that our coefficient is 2 and our coefficient is 4. And since there's a multiplication symbol here, we just say 2 times 4 is 8. The second step is, is add your exponents if the bases are the same. Well, the exponent has a base of x here, and this exponent has a base of x here, so we have the same bases. And since we have this multiplication symbol, we're allowed to basically add up our exponents. So 3 plus 5 is also 8. So just keep your base the same, which is x, and 3 plus 5 is 8. So there we go. 2x to the third power times 4x to the fifth power is 8 x to the eighth power. Why? Well, let's scroll down a little bit and let's actually take a look at what we had. We had 2x to the third times 4x to the fifth. That's what we had up top. And when you take a look at this, it really means the following. The coefficient is multiplying the x. So let me write that out. However, x to the third power truly means x times x times x. It means that there's three x's multiplying each other. And in front of all of those x's, there's still that coefficient of 2. So this 2x to the third power represents this, really. I call this expanded form. Now, all of the 2 and the x's that are multiplying here are going to be multiplying 4 times x to the fifth power. So this 4 will go right here, and it's timesing the first x, okay? But really, this is x to the fifth power, so there are 5 x's here. Now, as a result, um, when you go through to simplify an algebraic expression, the rule is pretty simple, um, because everything is multiplying here, uh, each other, we can use the commutative property of multiplication to basically multiply stuff that we're able to. So we can take this 2, we can take this 4, and we can get 8. Okay. Now, we have how many x's multiplying each other? 1, 2, 3. But then they're also multiplying these x's, which would be 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8 x's. And I can basically go through and write it out like this again if I want to, but you see how long it's taken us to get there. Let's see, and then you usually have to stop and count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I've, I've got all the x's, but isn't there a way that we can just simplify this? Well, yes, we can write it as x to the eighth power, which means the exact same thing. And we still have the multiplication symbol between the eight and the x to the eighth power. How can we simplify this further? Well, any time that we write a number next to a variable, we just understand that there is multiplication going on. And in this case, there's eight different x's multiplying each other to begin with. So that's why we wind up with 8x to the 8th power, but it takes a long time to do it. And instead of doing all of that, we can come back to these two basic steps. When you have an algebraic expression multiplying another algebraic expression, 
multiply your coefficients, okay, your large numbers in front of the variables. 2 times 4 is 8. And then you can add your exponents if they're the same base. Um, this is an x, this is an x, so 3 plus 5 is 8. 